Hey guys, this is Kevin here with another review of systems. Today I'm going to be reviewing Boards and Beyond. Um, just keep in mind, uh, I'm only a couple of weeks away from taking my step one exam, so I haven't actually taken it, but I've gone through most of Boards and Beyond and uh, the majority of the questions on Boards and Beyond. Um, so here we go. Um, the question quality I would rate as a four out of five. Um, the content I would rate as a five out of five and the interface I would rate as a three out of five. I think the overall takeaway for Boards and Beyond is that it has by far the best explanations for complex topics. Now, let, let me explain what I mean. So there, you know, you might be using Anki and you might be using Anki decks and seeing a lot of discrete facts. And certain types of facts are good for memorization, like microbiology, very good for memorization. You don't really need to fully understand, you know, what proteases do in RNA viruses in order to really get a question right. But when you come to certain topics like physiology, pathophysiology, um, or even ethics, they, they, have a certain conceptual framework that it doesn't really make sense to just go pure memorization. And in those situations, what you really want to do is have somebody who understands it really well, explain it to you in the simplest way that they can. Um, and that's what Dr. Ryan does with Boards and Beyond. I think if I had to do med school all over again, I would start with Boards and Beyond as like my first learning and testing set. So here I, I say it's like the best resource for the initial phases of learning and testing. Um, the questions are nice because they go by the video. So I'll, let me just show you what I mean by that. So we can just go here and we can go to cardiology section. And each one of these is a video, right? Nine minutes, 27 minutes. And you can watch this video and then right after the video, you can do the video quiz. So it quizzes you on the stuff that you just watched, which is really powerful. Um, I don't know if, uh, for those of you who use the Onking deck, it's kind of, it's really nice because you, there's also co cards categorized by video in Boards and Beyond. Lightyear also has cards categorized by video and a good workflow would be to watch the video, you know, take whatever notes you need to do, go through, click through the uh, cards for that section of Boards and Beyond, and then do this quiz, this uh, video quiz to really hammer that in. And that like multi-step process is really powerful um, for, for understanding a, a given topic. And I think, again, like, um, Dr. Ryan, who's the founder of Boards and Beyond, he's a cardiologist. He explains things really, really well. I, I can't emphasize that enough. I, I, I'm honestly blown away. Like, um, you know, I wish I started using it sooner. I think um, one of the things to be mindful of is that the questions themselves, they are good at quizzing the, the, the topic uh, of the video. Um, and some of them are, are pretty good and reflective of what you might find on like UWorld, but some of them deviate, you know, a lot actually. Like sometimes he has questions in there that are just a little bit too easy, um, like almost like first order questions. And sometimes he has questions in there that are like only like 15% of people get it right. And I know like Amboss has some questions like this too, but it's a little bit different with Boards and Beyond. Like, it just feels a little bit too random. Um, like he just threw in a twist at the end uh, just to like, I don't know, have a another step to his question. But overall, the questions are really good. I, I think especially um, his physiology questions um, and cardiology, you have to do his cardiology section and his neurology section for sure. Um, that's Physiology and pathophysiology is where this resource really shines and where the questions really shine. shine. So then the last thing I want to say is that um, going back to what I said about how, like, if I had to do it all over again, I would start with Boards and Beyond. It's very comprehensive. 
like if you know everything in Boards and Beyond, so we can take a look at all the sections here. If you if you literally know everything in every video, um, you will do very well on step. I think like first aid is in here, Pathoma is in here, Costanzo Physiology is in here. Um, Costanzo is basically the resource Zonkey uses for his physiology. And then um, what I would do is I would do Boards and Beyond and then supplement it with Sketchy Micro. Sketchy Micro is just too good for microbiology. And maybe, and I think Pixerize as well for um, biochemistry and immunology. All right, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or thoughts or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And best of luck with everything. I'll talk to you guys next time.